This sound file contains a spoken version of a Wikipedia article on Kevin Boyer, recorded by User Colored Pencils. The material recorded is current as of the 5th of September, 2012. Kevin Boyer, from Wikipedia, the Free Encyclopedia, at en.wikipedia.org. Table of Contents 1. Biography 2. Repertory and Performances 3. Recordings 4. Writings 5. Notes and References 6. External Links Introduction Kevin John Boyer Born 9 January 1961 in Southend-on-Seas, is an English organist known for his prolific recording and recital career and his performances of unusual, modern, and extremely difficult compositions. 1. Biography He sang in a choir and learned the piano accordion and organ as a child. When the church, where he practiced, refused to let him carry on practicing, he says, start of quote, I went and had a key cut to the church, and I got in anyway. End of quote. At St. Mary's Church, Twickenham, where he was organist, he managed to confuse the congregation in a way similar to that of Bach by playing Malcolm Williamson's Vision of Christ Phoenix to conclude a confirmation. Start of quote. The outcry there was at the AGM and in the Parish Magazine. End of quote. He attended Cecil Jones High School in South End and studied at the Royal Academy of Music from 1979 to 1982 with organists Christopher Bowers Broadbent and Douglas Hawkridge, harpsichordist Virginia Black, and Paul Steinitz. After graduation, he studied for two years with David Sanger after winning a Countess of Munster scholarship. When given a list of music to prepare at his first meeting with Sanger, he didn't realize that it was a term's work and had learned it all by the next week. Aside from playing the organ, he reads modern literature, especially James Joyce, Samuel Beckett, and the Poe's family. He is a lover of real ale and malt whiskey and lists his favorite recreation as sleeping. He also enjoys the odd pinch of snuff. 2. Repertory and Performances While a student, he performed the complete organ symphonies of Charles Marie Widder, Louis Bjorn, and Marcel Dupre, none of which he has yet recorded, and the complete organ music of Oliver Messiaen. He was able to do this because, he says, start of quote, When I was 21, I developed a technique that allowed me to learn a French organ symphony every month and always start at the end and then worked backwards. End of quote. His debut recital was at the Royal Festival Hall in 1984. He has won the following competitions, though he says the standard hasn't been all that impressive. St. Albans International Organ Festival, 1983, Neither second nor third place was awarded that year. Odessan International Organ Competition, 1990. Paisley International Organ Festival, 1990. Dublin International Organ and Choral Festival, 1990. Calgary International Organ Festival, 1990. He has performed and broadcasted all over the world and has released around 90 recordings, including all of Bach's organ music, for the Nimbus recording label. His recital repertory is enormous and ever-expanding. In an article restricted to European organ music of the 20th century, he mentions over 100 composers whose music he has played. Though he sees contemporary music as his vocation, he plays organ music from the Renaissance and Baroque periods onward and has shown an appreciation for the qualities of historical instruments in such music. He is the only person to have played and recorded Kaikoshu Shirabji's first organ symphony in its entirety. Start of quote. That it, Shirabji's first organ symphony, is finally becoming known, more than 60 years later than it was published in 1925, 
is due entirely to the uniquely enterprising spirit, astounding prowess, and unending and unbending patience and dedication of the most outstanding organist of his generation, who, in his continuing work in preparing for performance and recording Sarabji's second and third organ symphonies, which of necessity includes fair copying them longhand, is single-handedly rewriting the history of organ music since Liszt. End of quote. Quote by Alastair Hinton, 1988. He was organist of the parish of Warwick from 1989 until 1998. During this time, he taught around the country for the St. Guild International Organ School. In 2005, he was appointed university organist at the University of Glasgow with access to the Harrison and Harrison Willis Organ in the University Memorial Chapel. While continuing his teaching career at the Royal Northern College of Music in Manchester and the Royal Scottish Academy of Music and Drama in Glasgow. New projects include the annual Glasgow International Organ Festival and Glasgow Pipeworks series of recitals of new music for organ. On learning new music, he says, start of quote, I practice bits and pieces of it over and over again until my fingers are moving faster than my brain. Then I home in on what is difficult and link these with the easier passages. But the easier passages are still no less learned than the difficult ones. Sometimes it's necessary to practice for 12 to 14 hours a day, during which you need to keep your mind alert. End of quote. A particular example has been when he had to learn Niccolò Castiglione's Sinfonia Ghiere e Amorose, 41 minutes of start of quote, nearly unplayable music. I set my mind to encompass it in an eight-day learning period, a framework the piece naturally slipped into. End of quote. Since 2008, he has been able, with the support of the Glasgow University Trust, to be engaged almost exclusively in preparing for performances of Saravji's three organ symphonies, the difficulty of which are considerable. Start of quote. In my career as a player of contemporary organ music, I've played most of the notorious, super difficult pieces. Inus Senecas, Guillermo, Brian Fernihos, Stephen Stern, Niccolo, Castiglioni, Symphonie Grea e Amorose, etc. Sarabji's first organ symphony makes all those pieces look like grade two finger exercises. And organ symphony two makes organ symphony one look like a grade two finger exercise. End of quote. Quote by Kevin Boyer. The lengths are also considerable. The second symphony alone is over an hour longer than Messiaen's complete organ music put together. The second symphony was premiered in 2010, and there were several postponements due to the incredible difficulty of learning it. The third organ symphony is expected to be premiered in 2014 in Glasgow. Recordings of the three works are to be made, but not by Alturas Records as originally planned. Boyer is also preparing new editions of the scores for publication. 3. Recordings There is a list of Kevin Boyer's discography in Section 3 of the written form of this article. 4. Writings Kevin Boyer, 20th Century European Organ Music, A Toast, in the IAO Millennium Book, Editor P. Hale, ISBN 0-9538711-0-X Booklet notes to several of his recordings. There are references and external links available in sections 5 and 6, respectively, in the written form of this article. Please be sure to verify information found on Wikipedia using the references and external links provided or cross-referencing the information yourself. This sound file and all text in this article are licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike 3.0 Unported License, available at http colon forward slash forward slash 
creativecommons.org forward slash licenses forward slash buy dash sa forward slash 3.0.